me and my brother and my sister were at home and the doorbell rings I think it's our parents but it's a bunch of police at the door um they tell me this is you know what they arrested me for my first reaction was shock it was difficult especially seeing not even just for me because if it was a situation where it was just me, I think it would have been easier to handle. But seeing my parents in that situation as well was a lot. What are your thoughts on your parents' conviction? It's sad. Um, it's been really hard to really wrap my head around it. Do you understand the conviction and why they were found guilty? I understand the conviction. Personally, I disagree with it. Um, However, that was, that's from a very biased perspective as their daughter and I would obviously always, always back my parents. However, the law has taken its course and we just have to now move forward as a family. Apart from the, from the you know, case and the trial, I'm also having dialysis. What's the name of the condition that you have? Okay, it's called um, nephrotic syndrome, FSGS. Basically, my kidneys are like small and they have like loads of big holes in it. Either I stay on dialysis for the rest of my life or I get a transplant. These are my two options. Was it not possible to get a donor from within your family? I had the APOL1 gene. So um, to us, that kind of meant that, you know, um, kind of excluded the family, especially on my dad's side, because they have, a, they have quite a history of kidney conditions. In August of 2021, um, when obviously I found out that it was a possibility that would need a transplant, that's when we kind of reached out to people. How involved were you in finding a donor, in particular this young man? Um, I wasn't involved um, at all. Um, it was mostly my family that handled everything to do with my um, medical side. Were you aware that your parents were trying to bring someone from Nigeria to the UK? I mean, I was aware that someone did come forward. I had just come over to the UK, I believe, with my uncle. My mom and I wanted to thank him for that. And the picture was basically uh, for memories. It was mentioned in court that this man was portrayed as your cousin. Did you know that? Did you know that was the case? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I can't, I can't answer that. Were you aware that's the narrative that they were going for? Um, to an extent, but um, not really. I didn't really know the, you know, anything leading up to it. I don't feel anything towards him. I, you know, wish him all the best, um, and. That's really it. There were some texts between you and your parents mm -hmm. and they offered a couple of people or they showed you a couple of people who could be donors. Um, was that not some sort of involvement from your side? Um, I wouldn't say it's an involvement. I just, I mean, they just wanted me to see the progress that they had made. Have you been able to find someone else? Um, well, after, shortly after that, um, I had put out an appeal and a lot of people came up. But we weren't really able to do anything with that as of now because I'm still on dialysis. Hopefully I would be able to um, you know, get the transplant soon. Um, but as you know, um, our family is still in the middle of a trial. I would like to also use this opportunity to apologise to them for the way everything has played out. You've been seeing them, visiting them in jail all this time. Mm -hmm. where, where are their heads at? What are they kind of thinking about the whole situation? They're quite calm, surprisingly. Um, yeah. Do they feel remorse? I can't really speak on what they are feeling. This is just from an outside perspective, seeing them. Um, they are, they're okay, they're just um, neutral. What's sort of been your lesson from all this? Life is just so dynamic. Like, you're, one day you're in your house, chilling, the next day, your whole life is turned around, is turned upside down. So that is my main focus, try and help specifically people with kidney conditions, um, just to sh show that they, that they don't need to be scared. Obviously there's the support of my siblings and obviously my 
and your parents, um, siblings as well. However, I don't think it would ever be the same. Um, I feel guilty because I feel like all this has happened because of me.